I really need to leave the United States right now, but my green card application is still pending and my advance parole has not been approved. What should I do? Don't worry. Remember you applied for the L1A visa overseas through the U.S. consulate? Well, that's now in your passport. Because you are still working for the U.S. company as a transfer executive, you may leave the United States and then use that L1A visa to re-enter. Yeah, but I thought if I file for my green card while in the United States, I cannot leave unless I have my advance parole. Oh my god, I am so screwed. USCIS will deny my case. Generally, what you're saying is true, but the L1A visa is actually pretty powerful because it allows dual intent. Dual intent? What is that? Dual intent basically means you are allowed to come into the United States with a non-immigrant intent to stay here temporarily. At the same time, you are allowed to have the immigrant intent to stay here permanently and may take steps to become a green card holder without being punished. So yeah, with the L1A visa, you are allowed to leave the United States and then come back without the advanced parole, provided that you are coming back to resume employment with the same L1 employer. Thank you so much for talking to me about this so I can leave and then come back with the L1A visa. Yes, you may. And I'm glad we're having this discussion before you left or take any other action so that you are fully aware of any risk involved. Just so you know, if you do decide to leave with the L1A while the advanced parole application is still pending, that application will be denied even though your green card application will not be. And if you decide to work for a different U.S. employer, let's talk about this. Let's revisit this issue. Finally, the officer at the border may ask you some questions about your trip overseas and the reason for your return. So let's prepare for that. Let me know if you have other questions.